Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Thursday. Thursday, December, what is it, 9th? I think it's the 9th. December 9th, yes it is, 2021. Uh, hope you are all well. It's about 24 degrees out here with a little snow flurry, snow flurrying going on. So, um, expecting one to two inches today and then Friday to Saturday, latest, well, I watched the weather last night, it was five to nine. So I don't know if they're gonna adjust that at all today or not, but big snowstorm coming through. Um, and on a, on a personal note, we're heading out of town this evening after worship. I'm gonna dodge the snowstorms and get over to Minnesota uh, probably early tomorrow morning to visit our granddaughter for the first time. So um, I know I've posted it on my Facebook page, but if those of you who are, who don't uh, follow my, my personal Facebook page, we are, we became grandparents on November 27th. So uh, we're gonna get over there and meet Charlotte Christine for the first time this weekend. So we're excited about that. And uh, so it'll be a quick trip over starting tonight, get part way and then uh, Friday, get the rest of the way and then come back Saturday, hopefully after all the snow has been cleared out. So anyway, uh, check in time. How are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. Um, and uh, yeah, leave a qu question or a comment below if you have one. I'm gonna reach around here and get my coffee. Oh, sorry about that. I wasn't quite prepared this morning, uh, all set up. So, um, good morning. I thought it's a dog mug, so cheers, church. Okay. So our devotion again comes from Heaven and Nature Sing, the Advent and Christmas devotional from Augsburg Fortress. And the picture today is woman looking out a window, maybe expecting somebody to show up, or um, just check, checking the weather. <laughs> uh, we'll see what the devotion has to say about that. And our writer for this part is Troy Trofgruben, professor and pastor and professor at Wartburg Seminary. So our reading today is Luke 1, 34 to 37. Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative, in Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. For nothing will be impossible with God. And the two part to ponder part is a quote from Mary Oliver in either an article or a blog post or something called evidence. Keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. Keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. Hmm. That certainly is something to ponder, isn't it? And our devotion was titled, The God Who Makes the Impossible Possible. Mary is right to ask questions. Her questions, unlike Zechariah's, are more practical than skeptical. In response, Gabriel promises a miracle by the Holy Spirit, like the miracle already at work in Elizabeth. Only God can create life out of nothing. Clearly, these changes for Elizabeth and Mary are God's handiwork. As Gabriel points out, nothing will be impossible with God. Even as a young girl, a friend of mine felt called to the ministry. At the Lutheran church she attended, she often stood in the pulpit with the strange sense that she was supposed to be there. But at that time, no Lutheran church ordained women. Her call was impossible. She felt ashamed for feeling it. But in unforeseeable ways, doors opened. My friend became a deaconess. Then, when the church allowed it, a pastor. Then she earned a PhD and became one of the first female professors at a Lutheran seminary. At one time, obstacles made her path impossible. But then, nothing is impossible with God. Obstacles abound to our God-given hopes and dreams. But no obstacle is too hard or too great for the God who makes the impossible possible. I wonder if there's been times in your life where things that seemed out of reach or 
impractical, if not impossible, maybe over time, maybe suddenly, were available, became possible, became achievable. Hmm. Something to think about this day. And then uh, back to our, our to ponder part, keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. It's good stuff, good stuff. Well, I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, we plan on it. <laughs> uh, worship tonight uh, will be posted tonight. It's our second in the uh, Holy Darkness Advent series. Darkness is beautiful is tonight's theme. Uh, so that'll be posted sometime this evening. And then our Sunday worship will be the Sunday School, Sunday School Christmas program. So if you can show up for that uh, and support the kids, otherwise that will be recorded and posted as well. And uh, we just got a quote for our uh, video audio system, so that's going to have to go through council, but uh, uh, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there so we can live stream worship on Sunday mornings as well. So uh, hopefully in the near future. I don't know what that near future time frame is, but we'll get there. So be of strong heart and good courage this day to your church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Wash your hands, wear your masks, distance as appropriate. Get the vaccines and boosters as they are available to you. And uh, these are ways we show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. Blessings upon you this weekend. Have a, Make it a good one. Hunker down Friday night and Saturday. Enjoy the snow if that's what you like to do on uh, Saturday evening and, and Sunday. Um, make some snowmen or whatever good, good the snow is for. Probably good for snowshoeing. So anyway, blessings upon you this weekend. Peace.